Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the concept of allyl, vinyl, benzyl and aryl groups in organic chemistry. Most of the times students are quite confused about these groups and they face difficulties to identify these groups present in the organic molecules. Let's understand which is called benzyl group. Now think you have a molecule like this. This one is toluene. So now, if you remove one hydrogen from here, then you are getting this group. So CH2PH, this one is known as benzyl group and now here this CH2 can be connected with any other group it may be OH it may be halogen or it may be any kind of alkyl group anything so and this carbon which is directly attached with the phenyl with the benzene ring this is called benzylic carbon. So now here you can see there are a few examples has been given where you can see the presence of benzyl group. So this carbon is benzylic carbon, the carbon which is directly connected with the benzene that is called the benzylic carbon or benzylic position and this entire group is called CH2PH is called the benzyl group. So that means it's easy to understand that benzyl group is based on methyl benzene where one of the hydrogen from the methyl has been removed and now it has been replaced with some other functional group. Now let's understand phenyl or allyl group. Like if you think this is a molecule, it's a benzene molecule and benzene molecule has one hydrogen. If you replace this hydrogen, then what you are getting here? Here, one hydrogen is replaced. So this hydrogen will be replaced with any of the functional group. It may be R means any alkyl group. It may be any halogens, chlorine, bromine, iodine. It may be OH. So anything can happen. So in that time, in this case, we don't say it's a benzene. We say it's a phenyl or aryl group. Now here you can see some example has been given. So I think now you understand the difference between the benzyl and phenyl group. Now let's understand vinyl groups. Suppose we have a molecule like this one, say ethylene molecule. Now if we replace this hydrogen, one of the hydrogen, any of the carbon, either right hand side or left hand side, if we eliminate one hydrogen, And then it is replaced with any, any groups like halogens or alkyl, phenol, OH. Then which groups we are getting that is called the vinyl group. So this is the vinyl group. CH2 double bond CH. This is called the vinyl group. So that means vinyl group is generating from the ethylene molecule where one of the hydrogen is replaced with some other groups. Like here you can see this is an example of vinyl halide. So now this one is vinyl group and remember the vinyl group both the carbon is sp2. So the chlorine attached with the carbon that is sp2. This sp2 carbon is also attached with another sp2. So this is the characteristic of the vinyl group. Now here we have taken another example that is vinyl alcohol. 
This one is the vinyl benzene, which is known as styrene molecule. So here, this is the where we have marked as a green rectangle. This is the vinyl group. Now this is one ether. So this is a vinyl group. So phenyl vinyl ether. Now let's explain aryl groups. So just consider a molecule, it is propene. And if we can eliminate this hydrogen, which is connected with the sp3 hybridized carbon, like it is carbon number 1, 2, 3, where carbon number 3 is sp3 hybridized. So if we remove one hydrogen from the sp3 hybridized carbon, we get the aryl group. So this is the allyl group. So allyl group is CH2, double bond CH, single bond CH2. Now this CH2 is connected with any other functional group like halogens, OH, or maybe any alkyl or phenyl group. Now let's take one example. This is allyl chloride. So now here you can see the chlorine, the functional group is connected with the sp3 carbon, not with the sp2 carbon. And that is the main difference from the vinyl group. Suppose if we have vinyl chloride. So this carbon is sp2 hybridized. But in the allyl chloride, the chlorine is connected with the sp3 carbon, not with the sp2 carbon. Now let's take another example, like allyl alcohol. So allyl alcohol, here you can see again, this OH is connected with the sp3 carbon. Now if I draw the vinyl alcohol, so this is the vinyl alcohol. And here, this is the sp2 carbon. Now here you can see OH is connected with the sp2 carbon. So this is the main difference between the allyl groups and the phenyl, uh, allyl groups and the vinyl group. Now this is an example of allyl benzene. Now here you can see that phenyl, phenyl group is connected with the sp3 carbon. Suppose if I draw a molecule like this. Like this. Now here you can see this one is sp2 carbon. So now phenyl ring is connected with the sp2 carbon. So then it is a vinyl. So that means when phenyl is connected with the sp3 carbon, now this sp3 carbon is connected with a sp2 carbon and this sp2 carbon is connected with another sp2 carbon. So this is a allyl group. And in the vinyl group, the phenyl ring is directly connected with one sp2 carbon and this sp2, this sp2 carbon is connected with another sp2 carbon. This is the vinyl group. So now I think you understand the difference between the allyl groups and the final group. Thanks for watching this video. If you think that this video is helpful and beneficial for your study, share this video with your friends and other contacts and subscribe my channel Chemistry Affinity. If you have any queries related to chemistry, you can contact me to this email id chemistry.affinity at gmail.com. Thank you.